Hello everybody and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been before. Today, thanks to my lovely friend Perry Sky Phoenix who has a channel that I will link somewhere, um, I'm going to be doing a lash tutorial. I've done one before but Perry pointed out that I don't think I've ever done a lower lash tutorial and after, bleh, after the um, steampunk video I did a couple of weeks ago she asked if I could do a tutorial for lower lash application and I thought well I'll just do one for both and then even people who don't care for lower lashes or who need a little bit of a reminder or a refresher about upper lash line application then they will get something out of it too so don't forget to like this video I would do it now if I was you and then you won't have to worry about you know doing anything at the end um, if you haven't subscribed yet I highly recommend that you do and if you'd like to buy me a Kofi there is a link to my Kofi page in the description box so let's get lashing right here we go then and I've got two pairs of lashes I'm gonna do the top ones first and the bottom ones second right and these are the ones that I used for the um, previous video that I mentioned the steampunk one and I thought I'd do these ones again because they are so nice and they are real as I said at the time they're real vintage manic panic ones that um, Jet, who you'll know as Rock and Roll Rebel, she gave these to me and they came all the way from America. So first thing to do is to put the glue on and I always use duo glue um, because it's very good and you just put the tiniest amount, I mean really the tiniest amount I'm not going to do it yet but just see where you can see just here like this along the lash line the line of the band so be very careful because it will whoosh out <laughs> if you're not careful so I'm near the end of this tube so it will whoosh out uncontrollably. oh there it comes see just get a little tiny bit on the edge like this so if you try and get it like along the line so that it covers the back and the, the top at the same time I mean not like masses and masses amounts really small amounts like this see yeah and then put it somewhere whilst you put a timer on for two minutes. Now, I'm very lucky because I've got one on my watch. Um, da, 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 da. Timer. I already have it set up for two minutes. And go, off we go. So, what I have got is my mascara already on. I have curled my lashes slightly using eyelash curlers um, you don't have to do that obviously and of course I'm using my essence lash princess false lash effect mascara and not only is this incredibly well priced but if you're in this in the UK you can go on to just my look at the moment and they're doing a three for two on essence so you could pick up three of these for the price of two um the other thing with lashes is a good eye makeup remover after you've taken the lash off oil based always use an oil based one if you can um, because it really will make a big difference sometimes if you are having trouble getting the lash glue off you can use a little bit of baby oil on a cotton bud and that will work very well 
Uh, baby oil is terrific stuff actually for the skin. I often put it on after I've had a shower, my skin's still wet, especially on my tattoos, once they're healed, obviously. Um, wet skin, bit of baby oil, all good. Um, just quickly returning to these Manic Panic Lashes. These big ones are in the style Ultra Glam. So, oh, and the other thing I was gonna say was, I've got very little eye makeup on, just so you can see what I'm doing. And I haven't put any eyeliner on at all um, on the lid of my eye. Normally, oh, there, there goes the alarm. Normally, I would um, put a line of eyeliner, do my wing, etc., etc. So, why I always do my left one first is a mystery, but I always do. Always give it a quick just to make sure it's nice and tacky, give it a little bit of a wave, dry it off. Now you can use special um, eyelash applicating tools. I just happen to have a pair of very flat tweezers here, or you can just use your fingers, it doesn't really matter. So looking down, you just put them, put it as near as you can to the actual line of your lash and as you can see it's falling off but I'm just going to press it push it finagle it manhandle it all this stuff and just get it to behave and then we'll move on to the next one so just leave it to sit there for a moment we get the right one now and you can do it this way start at the front and go to the back or start at the back and go to the front these are big these lashes I haven't cut them down because they are vintage and I didn't want to spoil them um, but normally I have to cut the lashes down I usually take you know the last clump off um, and I use a scalpel blade but you can use any sort of good sharp maybe um, needlework scissors perhaps little embroidery scissors and then you give them a squidge like this and then what I do is looking down pinch so that they get held in by the mascara if you feel them sticking, just sort of roll, roll your finger. Don't pull away because you will pull them off. Just roll your fingers. And again on this side, And if you're new to lashes and you see all the glue looking white and weird, don't panic, it will dry clear. And my tip is to get a felt tip eyeliner. I've got a big fat uh, MUA one here and I'm just gonna go along the edge, pushing it in. and also giving you a little bit of eyeliner age at the same time. I will go back over this when I go out later with some actual eyeliner. Yeah, I'll do it on this side. See, I did it left-handed there. That's why it looked weird. And then do it with my right hand here. And you're just trying, if you've got old eyelids, you're just trying to get it underneath the skin now here it's got stuck to the bottom but you just go in either with your eyeliner or a cotton bud or even your tweezer and just get it out the way so there's that and then now we move on to the star of the show the under lashes and 
You don't have to buy special underlashes for this. You can use ordinary lashes, but just remember to turn them up the other way. Okay, so normally when you hold the lashes, they curl, let's see, they curl up, up like that. What you wanna do is turn them over so that they go down, they curl down. And you have the shorter ones on the inner and the longer ones on the outer. I'm just pulling a little bit of old glue off these because really you should do that when you put them away. But because I am not the tidiest person in the world, as Mr. Jane will attest, um, I don't always do that. And I come to put them on and they've still got some of the old glue on them. If that happens to you, do be so careful because you can go in pulling off the old glue with gay abandon and you'll pull the lash band off and the whole thing will fall apart in your hands. Right, so we get them ready. So make sure you've got them the right way round. So they're pointing, curving downwards. These ones are actually called Little Black Widow, which is very sweet. I'm gonna get my duo glue again. And duo glue can be dear depending on where you buy it. Um, I get mine on just my look as well, or if, see, I'm trying not to let it come whooshing out. In a pinch, I will get it at um, Primark or any good um, makeup store should have duo glue. And put some on the other one, eventually. Talk amongst yourselves. No, um, thank you very much, Perry, for requesting this tutorial. I know lashes can be a bone of contention with some people and they can be really, really difficult. And I'm just gonna put the timer on again, half a mo. Right, off we go. Yes, they can be quite difficult and you've done a beautiful eye look and you try and put your lashes on and the whole thing just can go into a hideous, they barkle and you decide you're never going to leave the house again. But my advice is, as always, stick to it. Stick to your guns, keep practicing. Um, it's not rocket science, but it is tricky. They're tricky beasts, especially, I always find the more wispy and subtle ones, which obviously I don't have a lot to do with, are more difficult because um, with the big chunky ones, um, at least you've got something to grip onto and hold onto. And the more makeup you wear on your eyes, the more easy it is to disguise any sort of um, faux pas that you may um, encounter. But since I started using false lashes after my um after i lost all my ordinary ones um i haven't looked back really i like them very much i can go out without them and in that case i always you know curl mascara of course i don't run in them i don't run in makeup um don't go to the gym in makeup apart from a tiny tiny bit of um water liner um because i don't want to look like you know a naked mole rat at the gym um, and if I'm running I've usually got sunglasses on or um, special glasses to keep the rain off or a visor or something so that people don't know it's me and um, oh there's the alarm for the two minutes so this is my new running watch by the way we'll go left one first again and I am going to hold this with my fingers because it is so tiny and delicate and 
I'm going to bring the mirror a little bit closer. Can you see it? No, it's not in the way. So the idea with these ones is to get them underneath your lashes. So as with the top lash, it's going on top of your lashes. With the bottom lash, it's going underneath your lashes. So you can sort of squint a bit. Get it underneath, hold it if you can, and then get it up under there. Or in the other eye, which is going to be a little bit easier, we'll start. Which way should we start? Let's start here so you can see it, I hope. Getting it underneath, hold it. Pull it round and push it up and then go along pushing it up with your finger or some other tool. If you've got longer nails, bizarrely, they'll probably be more helpful than having shorter nails. Let's get the old pokey thing. And whoops, oh, I'll have to go over that in a minute. Um, what was I going to say? Don't let it get stuck to your finger as I just have. Again, it is a question of practice, practice, practice. And I mean, these are particularly subtle, but I think you get the gist. And what you can do, as I say, the um, glue will dry down clear. You just go across the tips with the tiniest hint of mascara. I mean, I'm not the best person to watch do this because I have got very small eyes. But I hope that that helps somewhat. There we go, look. And as long as you've got a reasonable amount of um, colour or eyeliner or something for it to blend into, I don't think personally you're going to go far wrong. So there we are. South American bird eating spiders on my face. And I will be back and we will debrief on what we've learned. There we have it then. A quick canter through the ins, outs, ups, downs and possible pitfalls of false lash, lash application. <laughs> false lash application, which is, you know, easy for me to say. I hope you enjoyed. I hope, Perry, this helped. Everybody else out there in YouTube land, I hope it helped you too. And it just remains for me to say thank you again for watching. Thank you for being there. Don't forget to subscribe. Buy me a Kofi if you want to. Love and cuddle and look after all the pets, animals, etc. in your life. Those furry, scaly, feathery, finny animals and birds and other lovely things that you share your part of the world with. Don't forget everybody, ladies of a certain age should not succumb to death by beige. Stay strange, my friends. Just stay strange. <laughs>